Hey guys, it's your girl Avi the Body and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, hey body, and if you're new here, don't forget to click the like, comment, and subscribe button to join the body crew because we are lit over here. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing a full wash day routine. So stay tuned and enjoy. First, I will start by clipping or filing my nails, ensuring that the edges are smooth. This is important because it prevents your hair from snagging on your rough nails or sticking between any broken parts of your nails which can lead to breakage or split ends. I'm just coming out of a sewing protective style, so I'm now taking down my three week old braids. And after my braids are undone, it's time to begin detangling my hair and applying my pre poo so I first start by spraying all over my hair with water, then dividing it into four sections for easier management. Starting with my first section in the back, I spray more water onto that section so that my hair is now damp. And then I gently separate my hair using my fingers to remove any knots or tangles in my hair. Now it's time to apply my pre poo to that section. In case you didn't know, pre poo is short for pre shampoo. Pre pooing is the process of applying a treatment to your hair before the actual shampoo process. This is helpful because shampooing can strip moisture from your hair. The treatment provides your hair with a protective layer so your hair doesn't become brittle after shampooing. My pre poo was made using aloe vera and other essential oils. If you'd like a detailed tutorial on how I made my pre poo, then let me know in the comments down below. So here you'd see me generously applying my aloe vera treatment all over my hair and working it into each section. Aloe vera acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents itching on the scalp and reduces dandruff. So this is what this section looks like after covering it with the pre -poo. After applying my pre -poo to the entire section, I will go through it once more with a white tooth comb just to ensure it's fully detangled. And then I'll twist that section up and repeat the same steps on all the other sections. So this is what happens when you come across a knot that you can't seem to untangle. I suggest using a pair of hair cutting shears and snip those ends off to prevent breakage from just ripping the knot out. After my head is covered with my pre poo, I tie it up into a bun then I apply a shower cap and let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes. So this is what my hair looks like after 30 minutes. I am now in the shower to start washing my hair. I now proceed to separate my hair into four sections. This makes it easier to manage my hair without it tangling back up in the shower. So once again, starting with my first section in the back, I let my hair trench in the water. Next, I'm going in with my shampoo. I'm using the Suave Essentials Almond Verbena 2-in-1 Shampoo Slash Conditioner. This is approximately $20 in Pennywise and it's a fairly large bottle which lasts me for months. I always use about a dime sized amount on each section of my hair because it lathers up pretty well. Now you can see me massaging the shampoo into my hair focusing mainly on my scalp. This helps to remove the buildup of product, sweat and debris and cleansing my pores, which gives way for my new growth to come out of my scalp easily. Then I would work it down the length of my hair. I 
I then rinse the shampoo entirely out of that section. And now I'm going in with my conditioner. I'm also using the Suave Essentials Aloe and Water Lily Softening Conditioner, which is approximately $20 in Pennywise as well. This helps to add moisture back into the hair after shampooing. Now, this video is not sponsored, but Suave, if you see this, hold me up, alright? <laughs> so, you don't need to have an expensive conditioner in your wash day routine because you'll be using a lot. So, hence the reason why I would always go for the cheaper brands because I use bottles upon bottles and I use a good junk in my hair at a time and it gets the job done so as you can see mine is basically finished <laughs> I basically use it all the time so you know this is real you do not need an expensive shampoo and conditioner for your hair now when it comes to conditioner as opposed to shampoo i use about one handful per section and then i make sure to cover every strand of my hair and then i would put that section away and repeat the same procedure on all other sections so in this part of the video i'll just let you look through and enjoy So now that my entire head is covered in conditioner, this is what it looks like. Alright, so I'm now rinsing all the conditioner out of my hair and girl, you can already see how shiny and healthy my hair looks. After my conditioner is all rinsed out, I then spray it all over my hair with my rice water. I made sure to spray directly onto my scalp as well as the length of my hair. Then I just poured the rest of the water all over my hair so that my hair would be completely drenched with the rice water. I then tied my hair up, slapped on a plastic cap and let it sit for 15 minutes. If you'd like a detailed tutorial on how I make and use rice water for hair growth, definitely check the link in the description box down below because I do have a video on this. Alright, so this is me 15 minutes later. I'm just taking off my shower cap and my ponytail and this is what my hair looks like. I'll just rinse my hair out with water now to get all the rice water off and uh, let's get on into the deep conditioning process. Alright, so now we are at the final step in the shower which is applying my deep conditioner. I'm using the Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil Intensive Repair Mask. It is said to have a damage reversal formula and it consists of 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil with protein, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, linseed oil and safflower seed oils as well as vitamin E which are all great for promoting hair growth and moisture to your hair. I absolutely love it. It smells amazing and it has great slip and it leaves my hair feeling light and fluffy. So as you can see, I'm now applying my deep conditioner all over my hair. I'm applying a generous amount, making sure my entire hair is covered with this deep conditioner. I absolutely love it. I love the way it makes my hair feel and it definitely does what it says it does, such as repairing your damaged hair and so on. So this is what my hair looks like with the deep conditioner all over. I'll now tie my hair up, put it in a plastic cup and let that sit for about two to minutes so while I'm waiting for my deep conditioner to set in my hair for the 30 minutes I go ahead with my normal shower routine so let's just skip through this part 
All right, so we're back 30 minutes later. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out. And this is what my hair looks like after being covered in the conditioner after an entire 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it all the way out. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm gonna just let the water run through my hair. It feels so good. My hair feels so moisturized. I am in love. I repeat this, uh, I do this wash day routine at least once per month. And this is what my hair looks like with all the product washed out, clearly moisturized, clearly hydrated and healthy. Ignore that one piece of heat damage to the front. So I'm going to tie my hair up now and wrap my hair in a cotton t-shirt. I do not dry my hair with towels. I use a cotton t-shirt to prevent snagging from the fibers on the towel. So I wrap that up and out of the shower. So we're finally out of the shower and I am now going to take my t-shirt off my hair and my hair is partially dry. It's still damp which is great. I'm about to start styling so I'm splitting my hair into four sections. You all know I love my four sections and I'm going to uh, start to moisturize my hair. Alright, so the moisturizer that I use is the Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils Activate Me Curl Activator. It is said to moisturize and define curls, refresh curls and coils, and tame frizz and add shine. I absolutely love this moisturizer. It's only $30 in Pennywise. Before, I did use the Cantu Curl Activating Moisturizer, but it started to get, the prices started to get really ridiculous, so I opted out for this one, which is almost the exact same. Go ahead and I take a generous amount of my moisturizer and apply it to my first section, running my fingers through and making sure that my entire section is well moisturized. Then I would detangle my hair with a comb one last time. And of course I'm going to seal my hair with my Jamaican black castor oil. I'm using the Jamaican mango and lime brand. Um, it also consists of amla oil. It helps men dry weak hair. It soothes itchy dry scalp. It improves hair elasticity and it also moisturizes dry skin. So I absolutely love Jamaican black castor oil. I highly recommend that all of my viewers, you all get one if you don't use them already. And this one actually smells really great. The amla oil smells really good um, as opposed to the plain Jamaican black castor oil highly recommend so I'll go ahead and pour a dime sized amount of oil and rub my two hands together and just cover my entire section with it and then I will go ahead and do a flat braid to the front the two front plaits um, are flat braids and then the two plaits at the back are just regular box braids So now my hair is all braided up, I take my castor oil and I apply it to my edges so that, you know, my edges can get some oil to increase some growth. And then I apply my bonnet to my head and I go to bed. Hey girl, so it's now the next morning and this is what my hair looks like. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take my eco styling gel, style my edges real quick and then I'm gonna take some Jamaican black castor oil apply it to my fingertips just to avoid any frizz on my hair and take my braids down carefully So now that all my braids are out, I'm just going to go ahead and fluff my hair out using my fingers, then go in with my afro comb and pick my roots just to add some volume to my hair. Just remember that when you are trying to get volume, do not pass the afro comb all the way through your hair, only through your roots. And now I'm just playing with it just to get my hair positioned exactly how I would like it. And yeah, this is my final look. 
so I wasn't able to film an outro because I completely forgot so this is it I just want to thank everyone for watching this video and thank you so much for supporting me if you have any further questions or video requests please be sure to put them down in the comments down below because I am fully interactive I respond to all comments and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you will be notified every time I post a new video and if you're new here don't forget to click like comment and subscribe as well to join the body crew because we are lit over here now i'll see you guys in the next one and don't forget you're amazing you're smart and you're beautiful and never let anybody take your feed yet bye buddy